Okay, so this is uh, a video Hi, it's virtual and I'm uh, gonna make a tutorial on symmetry modifier because I got a question asking how to use it So let's just do that quick So first we need a primitive shape to actually modify it. So let's create something Something simple I just uh, go to the left view just create simple tube Okay F4 for a uh, edge faces and uh, convert to a triple poly. So let's just delete half of it. Okay. Now, when you do symmetry, when you use symmetry modify, you want to make sure that uh, these, the very end sides are empty. It's nothing here, because if it's gonna be like that. Let me cap it up. Uh, if it's gonna be like that at the end of the object, you're gonna get into some trouble. So just uh, make sure you delete all the faces at the very end. That's you're gonna be uh, putting a symmetry against. And um, there's actually two ways to m make a symmetry. There is symmetry. Um, let's begin with uh, on a modifier list. So let's go down and uh, let's add symmetry. And as you can see, it does it straight away. In my case, it's gonna be on X axis. Now, if you click on I axis, you're gonna get a different, and on Z axis, different one as well. And uh, to actually access the, as you can see, you might get something like that as well. Uh, to access the actual edit editors, there's a little plus sign here. Click on it. Click on mirror, and uh, now we can move the symmetry, as you can see. And the same with all axis. If we flip, you can't see nothing, but if we move it out and you can move it in all sides so yeah this is one of the ways and uh, on I axis this will modify you you won't be able to see nothing while moving like that uh, you have to move up or down it depends the way object is placed and the Z axis is go in my case is gonna do this if I click flip it's gonna do this so yeah, it's very basic using of the flip modifier. So as you can see, and uh, after you use modify, after you actually modified and finished making your object, you wanna what you wanna do is just zoom in. Try to get these as close as you can. So something like that, and uh, do this, and just click on. No, actually, I'm gonna do put that for other lesson. Just for now, there is other way to actually modify. So let me let me delete symmetry. Click the wrong button here. Yeah. Now the other way to make it, but this way will be permanent. You won't be able to reflect the changes. But if you finished modeling your object and just want to sy put symmetry on it, a little bit easier way. Uh, click on your object, um, select all of it, and click this. It's mirror, and uh, select Z axis, I believe. No. I think it's gonna be Z axis, and uh, you can't see nothing. Let's try differently, different approach. Click on the object mirror X now. Yeah, I select on copy and click OK, and uh, now we can move them together and uh, go to modify attach. Select the middle vertices. Click on weld and uh, click OK, and uh, now it became one object again. So, yeah, this is very basic way on using the symmetry modifier, and uh, I hope it's gonna help you on modeling. And uh, I could actually, you could actually do a lot with this on uh, my model. Actually, let me show you that. Let me just uh, file open now, and uh, oh, let me just find it to the model. And uh, if we're just gonna open this model, just give it a second to load up. And uh, as you can see, just continue, doesn't matter. And uh, as you can see, this is my basic, and I used symmetry everywhere. And uh, symmetry is on the front bumper as well, as you can see. And uh, yeah, this is actually very good. And uh, yeah, so this is actually, it took me about two weeks to model that from A to Z. And uh, yeah, if you have any questions, uh, just uh, comment or, or PM me and uh, 
hope you learned something hope you enjoyed um so yeah this is my tutorial on symmetry and uh see you in the next video guys bye